Hello there guys, welcome back to another Pricey P Roblox Studio tutorial. This tutorial is a follow-up to our prior tutorial on how to bend players inside your games. In that prior tutorial, we have learned how to use the bend async function to bend unwanted players inside your game. So basically in that tutorial, I created a bend script inside the service script service. So basically we're bending every player that joins the game. We're using the bend async API here. And this API has one parameter, which is a dictionary. So it's the config dictionary that we declare up here. The duration here dictates how long the player is going to be banned for. So negative one means a permanent ban. Zero means to unban the player. And otherwise you can enter a number for the number of seconds the player is going to be banned from the game. Unfortunately, I tested the game with a negative one here it means it is a permanent ban. So the result was I got banned from my game for life. And then I went on to do some research and I say, oh yeah, that's not a big deal because then I can use the unban async API to unban myself from this game. Then I would be back in the game. But unfortunately, the unban async did not work when the player is permanently banned from the game. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you a way to get around this. So if you got this problem where you ban somebody permanently and you cannot unban that person, I'm going to show you today how to unban that player from your game. To start, I just want to show you right now that I'm still permanently banned from this game. Let's play test and take a look. So this is what happened when I tried to join this game. It says you were banned from this experience by the creator. Here's a message from the creator. You got caught hacking the game. So all I can do here is to press leave and leave the game. There is no way for me to join the game. Again, the unban API did not work, but here's how you're going to do it. So first, you got to go to your creator hub, go to creations, find your game, click on your game, and go to the menu here. We're going to scroll down to moderation and click on bans. On the screen here, you can add a user that you want to ban from this game. All you need is the user ID here. And then you can check this box if you want to apply the ban to all known alt accounts. Down here, you have an option either to apply a permanent ban to that player, or you can check this box here to enter a custom ban. You can enter the number of minutes, hours, or days. So for example, I can select minutes and I can say for 15 minutes. Down here, you can enter your public reasons for banning this person and you can enter your private reason for banning this person. Once it's all done, you can click on apply ban to ban the person. But in this case, we want to unban a permanently banned player. So let's go back to this screen here. Instead of adding a user, I'm gonna go down to here and I'm gonna see a list of all the banned users. Here you can see that my name is on the list here. Price Counterpuncher has been permanently banned from this game. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check this box and I'm going to click on unban one user. It asks me to confirm unbanning one user. They will be able to access your experience unless you ban them again. Unbanned users will no longer appear in the table. So that's exactly what we want here. We're going to click on confirm. Unbanned successfully applied for one user. You can check out the list now. There is no more banned players in this game. Let's go back to the game and let's see if I can get inside the game now. And look at that. I've been unbanned. I got back into my own game. So there you have it, guys. That is how you ban anyone from your game. That is how you unban players from your game. Hope you have enjoyed the video. Thank you all for watching. And we will see you in our next tutorial. Take care, everyone. Peace.